These cycling shoes cost £220, so I wanted to give you a honest review on whether I think it's actually worth spending that much money on a pair of cycling shoes. So these are the Giro Empire VR90 women specific shoe. Um, they are two bolt SPD. Yeah, the reason I just wanted to start off by saying the reason that I actually prefer mountain bike um, shoes or like a touring shoe is because I use them to go on long rides. I want to walk in between. I don't really like um, road shoes. The only time I want to wear a road shoe is if I'm at the velodrome, which isn't very often. So that's the, what I use when I'm out on the roads and yeah that's why I, I wanted a pair of um, mountain bike so the reason that I ended up buying these was because I had the specialized burrito which were about 70 quid and I had them for they were the first pair of shoes that I had so I've had them for a good few years and they were trash I commuted in them they were just beyond like cleaning up I tried so many times to clean them and hung on to them like Jay even was just like you need to get rid of those shoes he kept telling me I was like no 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 I'll, I'll keep them a bit longer so I eventually decided I was looking around they were I was looking at the new version of Specialized and they just all looked a little bit I don't know there was just something about them they just didn't fit right they just didn't feel good on my feet and I just got so used to the other ones that I just didn't want to let the old ones go and then Jay had a pair of the men's version of these and my friend Darius he has a pair as well he has a road version actually and I was like do you know what I'll get them try them on and see if I like them so I bought them off Wiggle they were like 220 pounds and I had them in the box for months I tried them on I liked them and I was like yeah they're nice but they're ridiculously expensive by anyone's standards they are a very very expensive shoe so I had them in the box, I, I persevered with the old ones for months and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to start wearing them. And the main benefits that I really like about these, I'm going to start by giving you the, the pros because there are quite a lot. So if you can see there, they've got a really thick um, sole, it's Vibram sole, so they're really thick and really sturdy and like you can see on the end of the toe there really really thick sole and when you are riding as much as I am doing kind of longer distance stuff doing weekends away weeks away they just get trashed and they have stood up really really well so far I'm really pleased I've had them for probably been wearing them for about six seven months now um, so that's the main thing that I like about them the second thing that I like is the fact that the whole shoe is covered with fabric my older shoe had like a massive mesh sections in them so they're great if you're in like hot weather but when you're in the UK and it rains and it's windy it just made your feet really cold so my feet are really really um, uh, warm in these even without overshoes and over socks. Another thing that I really liked about these and obviously the main reason that I chose these is because they are synthetic they're not leather so obviously I'm vegan I don't want to be having leather shoes and one thing that actually really put me off these is the fact that they're laces but that is actually for me one of the main benefits because I've got really wide feet and I've got a really narrow section on the back I don't even know what the back of that's called what is it called that part of your foot I've got no idea so I find it really difficult to find shoes that fit properly and when you're on the bike you want to they want you want to feel like your feet your shoes are on your feet properly um, because that's where your power is coming from so I was a bit reluctant because laces pedals you don't want to get them tangled there is like a little section there where you actually just slip them in it's like can you see that it's like elasticated and so you just like push the laces behind so you tie them up push them behind and then they just stay there and the fact that there is laces means that I can really get it to fit properly on my foot which I really really like also one of the other benefits you get is the insoles so you get these specific inserts you get three different ones you get a small medium and large depending on how thick you want your um your i can't think of the word <laughs> your insole to be built up so i when i had my bike fit uh, one of my feet is flatter so then i have to make sure that my foot is built up so that it makes sure that my knee is aligned when i'm cycling if it's not then i get a little bit of knee pain so that's a really important factor and that's something that you wouldn't get in a cheaper um, shoe so I think that is kind of like that extra added premium element of it and I really like that I've had no trouble com in comparison to the 
um, foot beds that cost around 90 quid just for the insoles like they do the exact same job so that's another benefit of those they are the main pros I would say the cons of this shoe is just the price they are just ridiculously expensive and I guess the the main question is do you need to spend 200 pounds on a pair of cycling shoes the answer is no but for me I wear these shoes so often, I want them to be comfortable, I want them to be durable, I, you know, I, I use them a lot, I, they are probably the most used pair of shoe that I own, maybe, the amount of hours worn, more so than I guess my trainers, because when I'm on the bike, I do some long days on the bike, and you want them to be comfortable, and that is what's going to make you ride more if you've got something that's very comfortable because they are and I've not really spoken about that they are really comfortable they are they are like slippers <laughs> my friend Darius always says this about his pair he's like yes they're like slippers and actually they are really comfortable it's like it's like with a good saddle you know it's there but you don't feel it and that's what you can say about a good saddle or a good pair of shoes is that you know that they're there but you, you can't feel them there's no like pinching there's no so for me if you've got wide feet I really like them I really really do like them. Would I buy them again? Potentially yes because it is something that I feel like, I mean you know me, you know I'm not into like bling wheels, I'm not into bling bikes, I'm not into like having to spend thousands of pounds on something just because it's got a brand on it or just because it's got a name on it or because it's you know 50 grams lighter than an alternative expensive version. That is not me at all but I don't want to cut corners on my shoes or like comfort of my clothes when I'm riding, I just don't and I'm happy with them and if you're happy with your shoes then tell us what they are like if you've had a really good pair of shoes that you're really happy with let us know about them because there'll be people out there that want recommendations of shoes the only other pair that I would potentially gonna buy were the um, what do you call them the Shimano newer version but because they are um, velcro and I've got wide feet the velcro had to be like practically unvelcroed if that makes sense so what's the point and that's what happened with my old version like they were barely coming across my feet so if you've got narrow feet they're perfect also the boa kind um they're really good if you've got wide feet as well i did actually try a pair of a, bon a bontrager pair on um mountain bike version but they were just so clunky and i found that that's that's kind of the what i like about these is there's nothing really on the market that's kind of a mixture between a road shoe of how it looks but having the benefit of a mountain bike sole whereas most of the mountain bike shoes are very clunky so until there are more manufacturers that get into this touring style of shoe then I guess I am going to end up paying £200 because they fit my needs and if something fits your needs then it doesn't really matter it obviously not not it shouldn't matter what it costs but oh they just have you don't they they have you over a barrel with cycling stuff like, it's always a bit of a running joke because like I talk about this to a lot of people, like I'm really good with my money, I don't waste it on a lot of things, I don't just go out and like get you know drunk or spend it on loads of random clothes but if it comes to the bike I will pay, pay out if it's something that is really going to benefit me and I guess that's what I would say if you've got the money and it is something that you really want and something that works for you then spend the money, if it doesn't work for you don't spend the money just because it's a name and because it costs £200. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your favourite shoes in the comments below and I'll see you next video.